The Internet is a worldwide, publicly accessible network of interconnected computer networks, which has many uses, like a universe of knowledge, a place for communities and collaboration. It has almost become essential to our everyday life. This vast source of knowledge attracts many users wanting to experience this for themselves. However, the average computer user is unaware of the very dangers of the underlying architecture of the Internet. A computer user will go to a large corporate company buying a computer in order to access the Internet without knowing of the bundled software on the computer they just purchased. Oblivious to the marketing hype of their so-called protected computer, the new computer user goes home, sets up their computer, and connects to the internet. Now, the computer user is able to access the internet, blindly surfing the web, searching for answers. The internet, or World Wide Web, can give rise to malicious attacks that expose critical and confidential information from anywhere in the world. A computer virus is a computer program that can copy itself and infect a computer without permission or knowledge of the user. This is with a purpose to execute its intended functions, such as destroy hardware and software, and damage other computer components. In the early days, viruses could only be spread by swapping floppy disks or other media, as the initial goal of the internet was to provide a communication tool to share and merge people's creative minds. It also became a hotbed for viruses. Surely, there are other threats over the internet. Worms, those malicious programs that replicate and evolve to take over computers or networks is another one. From generation to generation, worms evolve themselves to increase the immunity of their defense system. Furthermore, there are Trojans, zombie attacks, and many, many more. While the computer user browses around the web, he stumbles across an infected site. A message is popped up in their browser. Foolishly, the computer user accepts, downloading the malicious software. The file completes. The Internet Mafia protects your computer by scanning attachments and emails. They can also scan files you download, checking if there is an embedded malicious piece of software harmful to your computer. It checks with the virus database on your computer, hopefully with the latest definitions for the Internet Mafia if these files are corrupt. The Internet Mafia has propaganda to keep your computer up to date so they can protect you from the latest virus threats. <laughs> Certainly, to gain the profit from innocent internet users, the Mafia puts a time limit on their protection subscription. These time limits can be monthly or yearly. However, a subscription to a protection service not only increases the budget of owning a computer, but also leads the computer user into an inescapable situation where they need to pay the subscription for safety. Oops, my subscription is out. In our normal lives, internet users need to make choices all the time. In the view of internet users, our computers are just small as molecules compared to the universe. With this assumption in mind, who would be willing to pay money for protection? Nope, no more payment. From the point that the user's subscription runs out, the antivirus companies stop updating the virus database on the computer. Again. As an effect of an 
out-of-date virus database, the guards are not able to identify viruses or worms that are produced or evolved in the future. The internet is filled with viruses. They are like a plague or a cancer on this planet. We are merely the cure. If you don't send us money for your protection, you will get infected, ultimately stopping you from accessing this wealth of information. Unprotected from the threats of the internet, the computer user continues to surf the web. The user opens an email as he usually does. Right after the user opens the email, the computer shuts itself down. The user starts thinking why that might have happened. He realized it's an attack. Intrigued by how he got attacked, the computer user begins asking questions and wanting to find answers. It's the question that drives him. Shall I ask for help from the Internet Mafia? The answer is out there. It will find you if you want it to. He starts looking for an expert to help him answer the question. I see you have been in some trouble with the viruses. I imagine that right now you're feeling a bit like Alice, tumbling down the rabbit hole. Hmm. Hmm. You could say that. I can see it in your eyes. You have the look of a man that accepts what he sees, but knows there is something more behind the internet. Ironically, this is not far from the truth. Do you believe that someone else controls the information you get on the internet? No. Why not? Because I don't like the idea that I'm not in control of what I do on the internet. I know exactly. Let me tell you why you are here. You are here because you know something. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it. Like there is something wrong with the internet. You don't know what it is, but it's there. It is this feeling that has brought you to me. Do you know what I am talking about? The internet mafia? Do you want to know what it is? The Internet Mafia is an organization that is there to protect you from that which is wrong with the Internet. The malicious software that is out there to exploit computer users like yourself. However, they are not as good as they portray. They blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are their pawn. There for their benefit. You were tricked into their full sense of protection so-called viruses, when the real protection is knowledge. Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Internet Mafia is. You have to see it for yourself. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You disconnect from the Internet, never to be attacked from these viruses, or pressured by the so-called Internet Mafia for protection. You take the red pill. You stay on the internet and pay the internet mafia for protection, and I show you other ways to protect yourself. Remember, I am offering nothing but the truth. Thank you.